वेलकम बैक एवरी वन आई एम सप्तपूर्णी फ्रॉम बाय लाइफ होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेरी वेल सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट पार्सिमनी ओके सो व्हाट इज पार्सिमनी एंड हाउ टू डू प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग विथ पार्सिमनी मेथड वी विल लर्न इन दिस वीडियो सो बिफोर बिगिनिंग इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू काइंडली सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल फॉर मोर सच वीडियोज बाय प्रेसिंग द बेल बटन बिलो एंड इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो डोंट फॉर गेट टू लाइक इट एंड शेयर इट विथ योर फ्रेंड्स ओके सो बिफोर बिगिनिंग पार्सिमनी we must learn about three c's of parsimony what are those three c's the first one is the first c is character based method now what is character based method this is a method of phylogenetic tree reconstruction where we give emphasis on each of the character of any sequence okay not uh, we don't give emphasis on um, on measuring distance between a pair of sequences okay we give importance to each of the character of any sequence okay so it is a character based method now this method comes under cladistics so that means here we mainly focus on the shared derived characters okay so if you don't know what is cladistics what are the shared derived characters i have a video on that you may also check out that video the link is given in the description box below or in the i button above okay so it is a cladistics based, based method where we give emphasis on shared derived characters okay now the third c is cheapness the word parsimony means cheapness okay Uh, or in bengali it means keep tip so in which term the does the show cheapness see here it attempts to minimize the number of mutations within a phylogenetic tree okay so in case of number of mutation it is showing cheapness okay as it is considered that as mutations are rare events okay in nature whenever uh, any new species is forming from any old species that means whenever speciation is occurring obviously there must be some evolutionary changes okay but nature does not prefer too much mutation nature always prefer lesser amount of mutation that is why in case of parsimony we attempt to minimize the number of mutation in any phylogenetic tree construction okay so the simplest tree with least or lowest number of mutations are considered as the base tree or maximum parsimonious tree okay so this is all about the uh, prelude of parsimony now coming to its procedure so see whenever uh, any sequence will be given to you first of all you have to do the multiple sequence alignment let's take uh, let's talk about five sequence okay which have different um, different beginning and end sides so first of all you have to uh, you have to do the multiple sequence alignment and align uh, all the uh, start and end sides of all the sequence okay in the same line so that is the multiple sequence alignment but in case of your examination they will already give you multiple sequence aligned uh, sequences okay so you don't need to uh, do this one okay msa now if you are given a uh, msa sequence file or matrix then you have to first find out what are what is the out group in that matrix okay so out group is the most ancestral uh, taxa okay or uh, in your sequence or most ancestral sequence which which looks different from all others okay that is the out group and next you have to find out the informative sites so what are informative sites informative sites are those sites which have at least two changes and each of the changes are occurring at least two times okay so here i have given the definition of informative site you you can uh, take a screenshot so sites with at least two changes and each of which present at least two times are known as informative sites okay so after uh, finding out the out group and informative sites then you have to construct all the possible trees okay or all the probable trees then you can go for each informative site and calculate lowest number of mutation possible for each tree okay 
now after that you have to sum up total number of mutations for each tree and after that you have to choose that one tree which have lowest number of mutation okay and that will be your simplest tree or best tree or maximum parsimonious tree so just now take a screenshot of this procedure and we will uh, learn next how to apply this one in case of real problems okay so going to that now this is our real problem here you can see uh, the sequence of the multiple sequence aligned sequence okay msa of four taxa are given human chimpanzee gorilla and orangutan and these are all the characters okay one two nine these are nine characters and uh, these are the sequence of each each character or each site okay so first of all what do we need they have already given you aligned sequence okay so now you have to find out the informative sites and outgroups so see uh, from evolutionary study we know that orangutan originated earlier than this three so obviously orangutan will be your outgroup okay this is very simple next you have to find out the informative sites now what are the informative sites the sites with at least two changes and each of the changes are occurring at least two times okay so let's see site one has two changes t and c but t is present only once so this cannot be an informative site now look at site two it has no change all are t so it can also it also cannot be a informative site okay now look at site 3 it has two change a and g and both are present at least two times a is also present two times g is also present two times so site 3 can be your at, uh, informative site next see site 4 has all g so it is also not an informative site site 5 has 3c but only one a so it is also not an informative site now see Uh, site six has two t and two c, so obviously it is also a informative site. And site seven has also two a and two c, so it is also an informative site. But see, site eight has all t, all c, and site nine has only one c. So these two are not informative sites. Okay, so here you can see only site three. Six and seven are your informative sites. So, site three, six, and seven are your informative sites. Okay. Now, construct the our second or our third uh, step was possible tree construction. Okay. So, based on site three and six, you can see that human and chimpanzee are sharing same kind of character or sharing same kind of base. So obviously, human and chimpanzee should be clustered together. And as we know, orangutan is our outgroup, so orangutan should be at at one end. Okay, so here we have drawn orangutan at one end for each tree. Okay, as orangutan is our outgroup. Now, for for from side three and six, we can see human and chimpanzee are. Must be clustered together. So he, here, in the first tree, we have clustered human and chimpanzee together and placed gorilla separately. Okay. Now, from site seven, we can see human and gorilla are sharing same kind of base. Okay. So in the second tree, we have clustered human and gorilla together and placed chimpanzee separately and orangutan obviously as an outgroup. And So from these three sites, we can draw these two possible trees. And another possible tree could be orangutan as outgroup, human as a separate clade, and here uh, chimpanzee and gorilla are sister groups. This can also be a possible tree. So these three are our possible tree. Okay. Now we have to calculate number of mutations for. Each informative site for each tree. Okay, so let's take a look on site three. So see here in the site three, you can see site three has A A G G. So human have A, chimpanzee have A, gorilla have G, orangutan have G. So wherever these four things are there, we have to write down those things. Okay, so we can see human have A. So wherever there are human, write down A. Okay, A A A. 
Now, wherever there are chimpanzee, write down A. A, A, A. Wherever there is gorilla, write down G. Gorilla G, Gorilla G, Gorilla G. And wherever there are uh, orangutan, write down G. G, G and G. Now see, the outgroup is orangutan. So obviously at the base, we must have the base similar to orangutan. That means G. Okay. So write down G at the base. Now you have to find out what will be the lowest number of mutations for each tree. Okay. In case of this side. See here G to G. G to G. But here these two human and chimpanzee are showing A. So you must. There must be a mutation in this side. Okay. If we draw a mutation here. We draw a mutation line here from G to A. Then both of these becomes A together. Okay. We can also draw mutations. One mutation here. One mutation here. Okay. G to A, G to A. But that will increase the number of mutations. So, he, if we give a mutation line here, there will be only one mutation. But if we give two mutation lines there, there will be increased number of mutation. That is two. Okay. So, but in parsimony, we are doing cheapness. Okay. We need only lowest number of mutations. So, we are giving a mutation line here, G to A. Okay. That, so, that both of these clad can sh uh, show a together okay now in this case this is g all fine this becomes a this becomes again g and this becomes a so we can draw a mutation line here okay here g to a that means when we are doing a mutation line here all of these becoming a now you have to convert it into g again okay so here draw another mutation line and convert it into A to G. Okay. Because when we are doing G to A mutation here. All of these three becoming A. Now you have to convert it from A to G. So uh, draw a mutation from A to G here. Okay. So here there is one mutation. There is two mutation. Lowest number of mutation is two. Next in case of tree three. See here G. G to G okay. G to G okay. But these two are A. So, how can we draw mutation line here? Same to the second one. Draw mutation line here from G to A. So that all of three becomes A. And next, draw a mutation line here from A to G. So that this again becomes G. Okay. So here also lowest number of mutation is 2. Got it? So that is how you must do the same thing for each informative site. Here we have done this for site 3. Now we have to do this for site 6 and then for site 7. Okay. So let's take a look on site 6. Okay. So what have here for site 6. Human have T. Chimpanzee have T. Gorilla and Orangutan have C. Okay. So just go to the site 6. C. Here. Site 6. So, wherever there is human, you have to put what? T. So, put T wherever there is human. Put T. Okay. And wherever there is chimpanzee, put T. Wherever is chimpanzee, put T. Wherever is gorilla, put C. Okay. So, gorilla C, gorilla C, gorilla C. And wherever is orangutan, put C. Okay. As orangutan has C base, so at the root we, can, we we have to also place c okay as orangutan is our outgroup now let's see similar thing will also happen here c to c no change c to c no change but these two has become t so we have to draw a mutation line here from c to t okay so lowest number of mutation will be one here this mutation will change both of these from c to t okay now here c here T, C, T. So, we can draw a mutation line here and change all of them from C to T. C to T. All of these are now C to T. Now, you have to change this one again into C. So, you have to draw a mutation line here and change from T to C. Okay. So, lowest number of mutation is 2. Now, in the third tree, C, C, these two are T. So, you have to change here and you have to draw C to T. Okay. 
and all of these three now becomes T. So next you have to change this one from T to C again. So draw a line here and write T to C. So this becomes now C again. So here also two mutations for uh, tree 3. Okay. Now site 6 is complete. Now go to site 7. Site 7 has A for human and gorilla and C for chimpanzee and orangutan. Okay. So wherever human and gorilla are present, we have to write down A. And wherever chimpanzee and orangutan, we have to write down C. So let's take a look into the site 7. So see, here site 7, wherever human are present, write down A. A, A, A. Wherever chimpanzee are present, you have to write down C. So write down C for chimpanzee. Okay. Next, wherever gorilla is present, gorilla is also A. So write down A. A, A, A. And orangutan is C. So write down C. And at the base, what you should write? The base of orangutan, that means C. Okay. Now you have to change accordingly. See here, the things become uh, different here. So C, C to C, no change. Here, C to A change. Okay, so, and here C, here A. So you have to do a mutation here from C to A, A so that all of these three becomes A again. Okay, A. And now to change this from A to C, you have to draw a mutation here from A to C. So, lowest number of mutation is 2 here. Okay. Next, here C to C, C to C, no change. Both of these are A. So, you have to make a mutation here from C to A. So, lowest number of mutation is 1 here. Next, in case of this, C, C, no change, A, A. So, you have to change here from C to A. So that all of this becomes A and next change here from A to C. Okay. So here also two mutations. Okay. Got it. So now the next thing is you have to sum up all the mutation number for each tree for each informative site. Okay. Now let's write down all the mutation number for each site for each tree in this summary table and calculate total number of mutations for each tree okay and whichever tree will have lowest number of mutation that tree will be our most parsimonious tree so for site 3 tree 1 had one mutation tree 2 had two mutation tree 3 had two mutation next for site 6 same thing, 1 has 1 mutation, 2 has 2 mutation, 3 has 3 mutation. But for site 7, 1 had one 2 mutations, 2 had 1 mutation and 3 had 2 mutations. So for tree 1, there are total 4 mutations. For tree 2, there are total 5 mutations. And for tree 3, there are total 6 mutations. So, which one have the lowest number of mutation? Obviously, tree 1 have lowest number of mutation. So, tree 1 is our most parsimonious tree. So, just draw down the tree 1 again with all those uh, site-specific bases for each, for respective taxa and give the site specific mutation line for example for site 3 this is the mutation line here for site 6 this one is the mutation line here for site 7 this one is the mutation line here and here okay for tree 1 okay and write down that the probable tree have least number of mutation uh, the probable tree having least number of mutation is considered as the most parsimonious tree and here in this problem tree 1 has the lowest number of mutation that is number 4 so 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 the tree 1 is considered as the most parsimonious tree or the best tree okay so i hope this video is now crystal clear to you in the next video we will learn how to uh, do the parsimony method in a next type okay uh, so for the time being, thanks for watching and happy learning.